So I recently took a poll and over 700 people responded in the community poll. 62% have asked about fighting bugs early game. A lot of beginners are having trouble fighting some of the early stage bugs. I want to just give a special shout out to Jade Craft. I reached out to him. He gave a few tips as well. So special thanks to him as well as my Discord community. So let's go ahead and get started and talk about what armor and gear you should have to try to defeat these early level bugs. So one of the first pieces of armor that you will get in the game is the the clover armor which is uh, this set right here really does not do much for protection but what it does do is it will keep your hunger and thirst levels lower while you are out there discovering the the first portion of the game not the best armor to fight in and not really recommend it so i'm going to go ahead and show you the second set that you will probably run across as you get over to the oak tree in the oak lab so now i put on the acorn armor and what this does is first it does make you a major threat and increases the enemy's desire to attack you so be aware of that when you put this armor on but it's also a heavy armor and it will protect you more heavy armor protects you 30 percent more damage compared to light armor which is which is 10 percent damage reduction heavy armor also on top of the 30 percent reduction also uses 25% more of your stamina compared to light armor, which uses 5%. So with this, this also has the full set has the uncrackable specialty on it, which makes you a tough nut to crack and hard to stun. So what that's saying is if, if the creature you're fighting has a stun effect that can be applied, this reduces that effect. This is a good armor to start with for tier one. It's not the best, but it will protect you during the fights. My recommendation though, is once you get over to the Oak Lab, do the Oak Lab, head over to the pond and start diving the pond to get some, some gear that is needed to make this armor that I'm looking at right here. But we're gonna need to get some of this stuff right here which is dive gear, which is utility armor. In my opinion, it's utility because you don't really want to use it to fight with. But what you need for, for this is again, go ahead and dive in the pond and you'll you'll unlock the gill tube, which will, which will help you breathe underwater longer, as well as the fin flops, which you get from the, the boatman. So get these, which will help you swim in order to get to make the bubble helmet, which will let you breathe for a very long time underwater. You'll also want to bring the, the stone dagger, the pebblet dagger with you, as well as a slime lantern, and dive the depths. If you haven't gone down and done the pond lamp yet, here is a video above to show you how to do it and just what to look for. Go down there and find the koi scales and sunken bones so you can make the koi armor as well as one of the best early weapons I have played with so far is the bone dagger make the bone dagger as well when you are gathering all your resources to make this koi scale armor so we're looking at the koi scale armor it is a it is a light armor so it only does 10 percent damage reduction but it only has five percent stamina usage so this armor will let you fight longer without reducing your stamina as quickly as heavy look at it perfect block right here is also another reason why i suggest using this getting this as soon as you can in early game it ex extends your block time so you don't have to get that perfect block exact timing it opens up that time scale to get that perfect block in a lot more often and the dazzling repost so when you do a perfect block with this armor on you cause more damage to the enemy that you are fighting after you get that dazzling repost this is one of the reasons why i say get the koi armor next thing you need to do is get the weevil shield this shield right here is unlocked by analyzing weevil meat so you will find this shield down here under your equipment weapon crafting tab down near the bottom it requires four raw weevil meats two crude ropes and a grub hides so go ahead and make that acorn shovel dig up some grubs and get two hides make this shield it will save your life more more often than not so get that shield so if you add this shield on top of your koi armor now you have the block strength which improves your block strength to go along with the perfect blocks so not only are you perfect blocking it improves your block strength it right there fighting bugs is a huge benefit 
Now we have two beginner badges. They are level two, but they are very easy to get. This one has gotten down in the depths. So if you went and followed that video, you'll definitely find this one. This one right here is the compliance badge, which does a parry heal and also reduces your damage. This one can be found underneath the hedge by the light switch. Let's go ahead and look at the map real quick and I will show you exactly where to find this at. Come straight down, this is the hedge, this is the hedge ascent. Right here is a light switch. Now you're gonna have to battle some larva around here, but off to the right of this light switch are some bones. Look at those bones and they have the compliance badge. So if you add the compliance badge with the koi armor, in the shield so not only are you perfect blocking a lot more often you have a lot more stamina you are hitting for more damage after you do perfect blocks your block strength is increased when you do a perfect block it heals your character and then on top of that it reduces the damage you are taking so this whole set right here is a block heal reduce damage set Put the bone dagger on top of this and you are going to go through some of these early level creatures very quickly quicker than you thought you could none of this gear has been upgraded as of yet this is all a level one gear i have not done any armor upgrades or weapon upgrades other things you need to take with you when fighting is make sure you have food make sure you are always have full health and full water going into combat because it does have an effect on you also make sure you have bandages and is make tons of arrows tons of arrows with the brig bow this is for what we call cheesing the bugs which is something i will show you shortly so let's go ahead and get out there and uh, fight some early level bugs okay so the first bug i am going to attack is right there this is the stink bug which this one early game can be very difficult to fight what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my inventory, make sure I do have my toxicology badge on because it does give me some sort of gas resistance because we do not have the gas mask as of yet. And I'm also going to take a look and show you real quick about trying to fight these guys alone. So I'm going to go into photo mode real quick, go to my orbital cam. Now here is the stink bug in the environment around us. So as you can see, I have this root, I have grass and I have other things that I could use. Now I can use that is, and that is called cheesing the bug, which means you use the environment, you get them stuck somehow and they cannot attack and you can fight them from a distance. This is why I said use a bow and have lots and lots of arrows because these, the, the sprig bow does not do lots of damage. So you will need lots of arrows. I'm also looking around my environment to see if there is any other threats around, such as a, another aggressive bug that may be out here. There is not. So if there was a spider or something over here, I may not want to attack right now because I don't want to try to fight two different bugs or two bugs at the same time in the early stages. Try to just fight them one on one and use the environment to your advantage. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this one on by equipping my bow. And I'm just going to fight him from see if I can get him stuck somehow. Or if I can get up to a higher location. Definitely keep an eye on your stamina bar. So now I'm up on this can. See if I can. Let's see if he can get up here. So I am taking some damage, so I'm going to come up even higher. So right now, this is teasing. He's stuck underneath this. I am so high up that he is unable to get to me. And I'm able to take him out by just using my bow. So right there, I took out the stink bug with minimum damage. And then I got a gold card for, for doing it too. Not you, you won't always get gold cards. I just got lucky on that one. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up my arrows because they are all over the place. So that is, that is the perfect example of cheesing where you can 
fight the bug where they do not do any damage or attack you from your location. So I had the high ground advantage and uh, that's how I was able to defeat that guy right there. Let's move on to the next bug. All right, so now I'm over in this location. As you can see, I have I multiple threats going on. Not one. There is the Orb Weaver and the Orb Weaver Jr. I'm going to go ahead and take these on with my Bone Dagger. After I draw one using my, my bow. I do have the Toxicology Badge on because of Poison Resist. Go ahead and get this one over. I'm going to use the open terrain for my advantage. Again. Watching each bug has a certain thing of what they're going to do when they attack. Keep an eye on that. I stunned them. And that is how quickly the Bone Dagger just rips through these guys. Okay, here's an Orb Weaver Jr. right here. He's going to attack me. Oh, and I completely missed all three of his hits. And just like that... Barely took any damage. I was misjudging my my blocks again. You, you gotta learn their attack moves. They they all the bugs have certain things that they'll do before they do a certain attack. Some are a single attack, and then you got those multiple attacks. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab something to eat right here, bandage up. And we're gonna move on to the next bug. I'm gonna try to show you if I can get it done is how to get bugs to fight one another. And I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my compliance badge to see if I can show you how it heals when I do perfect blocks. So let's go ahead and find another bug. All right, so in this area, this area is extremely dangerous because you got not only do you have mosquitoes, but you also have bombardier beetles off to the left side. I'm going to see if I can try to get this mosquito to fight the bombardier beetles. So I'm going to run, and I know the bombardier beetles are in this direction. That mosquito is still following me. And here is the bombardier beetles. So what I'm going to try to do is get out of the way and let these guys fight one another. Let's see if I got... Don't know if I got the bombardier beetle. I did not. All right, so instead of doing that, here is an example of what I was just talking about, trying to get two to fight one another. If you get one to engage and then you get another to engage and try to get away so they disengage, they'll fight each other as we can see in this video right here. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to get up on here and see if I can take on these two bombardier beetles. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, fight these bombardier beetles. I am going to put the toxicology badge back on because of the acid that they throw. And now I'm going to go switch to shield and dagger. And I'm going to take this guy on. I'm going to try to take him on hand to hand. Hopefully this other guy will not join the battle.
Okay, so that was using the dagger. As you can see, it was like I was just slapping him around. I did not get my block in that I wanted to, and he did hit me with some of that acid damage. I'm going to go ahead and switch over, attack this other one, using the compliance badge and my dagger. Heal up. He's out of the way when he does that. See if I can draw him over to me. Because I don't want to go fight him in his goop. And just like that, with the bone dagger, level one, no upgrades. Just tore right through these guys. So that is my suggestion on trying to fight at early level is just use this armor setup with the compliance badge or the toxicology badge. Get your weevil shield. Make sure you have your parry master and meat shield up as well as stay fully hydrated and, and uh, have a full stomach. Let's go ahead and see if I can fight one of these guys just for, for shits and grins because these are the hardest ones to fight early game. Ah, he got me. Ooh, got me again. Mis miscalculated my block once again. Okay. That was a dodge. Got him again. As you can see when I do it, my health went up and it stunned him and went ahead and got that mosquito part so there you have it this is just my tip and technique on how to fight these guys Mosquitoes are one of the harder ones to fight in the game because of the way they attack. And just like that, as you see, it did give me a little problem. Just watch the timing of his attacks. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. And I want to again give a special shout out to Jade Craft for giving me some tips as well. And uh, as well as my Discord community. And as always, you guys have a great time out there exploring your backyard. Enjoy fighting the bugs at the early game stages. As you can see, it's, it's, it's easier with this type of armor setup. So try to get it if you can. And also enjoy your journey. I am Magic Flying Potato and I am Oot.